Hello everyone, this is a Netgear NAS, a network attached storage device. And this one in particular is the RN31600, which means it's got six bays. And you can see the six bays inside. However, the client was only using four in a RAID 5 configuration. So, the bottom one is actually empty. Yet, to make this job more confusing, there's five drives. So what's pretty common is that a RAID 5 has redundancy for one drive to fail. And what is a common thing is that when, the, when, the, when one drive fails, it continues to work. And unless the uh, user replaces the drive, then they've got no redundancy for a second drive failure. So unfortunately, this one had two physically bad drives that weren't usable. Number one and number three were both bad. Um, it had at some point had a new drive put in it and replaced, but it didn't actually do anything. So this drive here, number four that was inserted, was actually blank and uh, zero filled. So that only left us with three drives to work from. So we had to recover two physical drives and then we had to virtually recreate this RAID array to get the client's data back. It's a, um, it uses a Linux host and the file system is BTRFS, which is a fairly safe file system, but it's not that common. But we can recover from these Netgear systems when they fail. They're a lot of fun, they're like a jigsaw puzzle. So it took me a bit longer to figure out because um, one, two physical drives had failed, there was two spare drives, it was a little bit more of a puzzle um, than had it failed immediately and come in. So I just had to figure out which drives were left over as part of the RAID system.